everybody, what's up Kai here. I'm just going to do a quick video on this straw man show that I discovered while scrolling through social media a couple weeks ago. Recently, you might have seen a clip of Jean-Francois Caron lifting the seer stone, or at least a replica make its rounds on Instagram. It got decent views and a bit of a conversation started, but kind of got surpassed by the next big lift of the week, such as the power of social media. But because JF is one of my favorite current strongmen, who I think is super underrated by the way, I did some digging to find more info on where the clip came from. Surprisingly, it was actually pretty easy to find, but no one is talking about it. And Karan even mentions it in his original Instagram post. This clip comes from the new show called Tour de Force, and it comes on the French-Canadian station Canal D. It's a channel that typically shows documentary-style shows focusing on nature, science, crime, and the like. Basically, it's like the Discovery Channel. The show premiered last week on Monday, October 7th, and so far two episodes have aired. The show focuses on 10 Canadian strongmen and women of centuries past, including Louis Cyr, Charles Bellegrand, and Mrs. Henriette Clatier, who was the strongest woman in the world. And to bring these acts of strength to the modern era, the show enlists the help of current top Canadian strongmen, including nine times Canada's strongest man, J.F. Caron. Other athletes include World Strongest Man competitor Jimmy Paquette, Mike Saunders, Simon Boudreau, and the current Canada's Strongest Woman, Maureen Amelie. Speaking of strong women, with the inclusion of Cloutier and Emily replicating the lifts, this opens the door for strong women to be included on the show, which is always a plus. Bonus points because I learned something new while watching the show and doing research for this video. I get new strong people to follow on social media, and I got to learn about a badass strong woman who even challenged the likes of Louis Sear back in the day. It's the coolest strongman show you're not watching. This is exactly what I wanted from History Channel's The Strongest Man in History. A lot less reality TV filler and more of the true science and history of the lifts and the people who perform them. Of course, there's nothing wrong with reality TV elements and to each his own, but I could honestly go without watching Eddie and the gang do another eating challenge. Ugh. While both shows have their positives, they also have their negatives. For me, as much as I like what I've seen so far of Tour de Force, one complaint that I have is that the atmosphere is a bit sterile. For the most part, the feats of strength are performed in this giant warehouse slash lab setting, and judging by the previews, it stays that way for most of the show. Now I do get why it's set up this way due to all the scientific equipment that they use, and to recreate the feats, but it's not exactly the same as the originals. In fact, JF didn't lift the actual seer stone, but a replica. The replica weighs 517 pounds, while the real seer stone weighs 530. Nothing against JF, of course. It's still a badass moment and impressive as hell. And I'm sure he'll get his chance at Fortissimus 2020, and if he is successful there, he will have his name etched into the stone like Louis Sear and Derek Poundstone. One thing that I definitely give the strongest man of history over this show is that the guys actually travel to the locations of the implements or the sites where the feats were performed. They lifted the actual Denny Stones in Scotland and visited Paul Anderson's home in Georgia. Now, this would be the part where I would tell you to go check out my review of that show, but History Channel has copyright strike the video two times now, which sucks because I took a lot of time to work on that. Anyway, if you're craving some new strongman content while you're waiting for the next big contest, I say check this show out. You can watch the full first episode on Kennel D's website for free and no VPN is required. 
Again, it is a French Canadian channel, so it is spoken in French and has French subtitles. But I'm sure with some Googling, you could translate it yourselves. However, I do have a proposition if I have any French speaking subscribers. I would love help translating it or at least full video rips for the next seven episodes. I'm trying to archive as much strongman competitions and media footage as possible. This was obviously made for a Canadian audience, so I highly doubt we'll ever see it broadcasted outside of the country. Hell, I'm not even sure if it would be broadcasted to the English speaking part of Canada. But it was something cool I wanted to talk about and it's awesome to see strongman style TV shows in other parts of the world. I'd also imagine that the athletes are getting a decent paycheck out of this and they get to promote the sport that they love. Please comment below if your country has non-competition related strongman shows. I'd love to find out more info on those and how they are presented to a general audience. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video, and if you're new to my channel, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Also check out my strongman montages or prediction videos to upcoming contests. West Dubai is coming up in less than a week, and I have a lot to say on that. Also, please follow me on Instagram at EastWolfStyle and interact with me. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.